Alex Jones here for InfoWars.com, covering the tragic shooting in Colorado, just a few miles from Columbine and Littleton, where we saw the last event that happened right before they were trying to pass anti-Second Amendment legislation. Obama is set next week to sign the controversial UN treaty and try to get the Senate to ratify it, and they need just a couple votes uh, to get it done, they're saying. A UN treaty that even Forbes says would register all our guns under UN control and ban semi-autos. And magically, somebody dressed up like the bad guy in uh, the new Batman movie, Bane, in a gas mask, in a black outfit, comes in and shoots people, and they were, and they were reporting another shooter and that people couldn't breathe. You know, at Columbine, the school was half empty. This was in the news. 127 propane bombs were found inside the school that two guys supposedly put in there. Uh, and witnesses saw all these other shooters. And it even came out in the local papers that the SWAT team shot some of the kids. And all that was in the news. In fact, we're going to dig all those stories up and have a big article at InfoWars.com about it. And then magically, out of this whole country, at the same place, the same area, this happens. Now, maybe it's a crazy copycatter who was living in a fantasy world uh, and wanted to you know, become Bane. That's what this looks like, wearing the gas mask, the black outfit. Uh, you know, the movie posters say, Rise. I have been to movies like The Avengers, and the men in there have more awe in their voices than I did when I saw my first child born. I mean, this is what is manly to them. They, they ooh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. And I mean, I'm talking about 50 men around me with their girlfriends like little kids. Ah, oh, oh. so, so see, this is their reality. This is their mythos. That's why I shot a video a month ago that Warner Brothers had pulled yesterday saying this is connected to extremists, to demonize libertarians, to demonize people that protest uh, the banker bailouts. This is to hype terrorism and hype fear. And they left it up for a month but claimed copyright and pulled it yesterday. Oh, wasn't that interesting. So here you go again. And this thing is shrouded in tragedy. You had the Joker actor die right at the end of filming conveniently in the last film. Uh, I shot a whole review breaking this down and predicting much of what's now happened. Now the London Guardian, the London Telegraph, and others are getting it right. What were six-year-olds doing there at a midnight showing? What are you doing showing children this? What is this culture obsessed with death and murder and sadism? So it, it's, it's either public mind control with a sick society generally conditioning people to do this, just like whenever somebody jumps off a high building, police know to be there because copycats will see it on the news and always try to jump as well. I mean, that's well known. Either, either it's that and it's just a general culture under the conditioning and general mind control and Pavlovian programming for mass murder and violence and the video games and the desensitization with violence on television, or it's something much worse. And it's even come out, again, in mainstream news in court that Sirhan Sirhan was hypnotized. They've got drugs uh, that for, for 60, 70 years where well, they can program you with these literal Manchurian candidates with the RFK shooting and CIA guys in the audience. That's come out. Look it up. That's mainstream news now. We're talking Associated Press, you name it. And all the research we did on Columbine was 99% chance it was totally staged. Harrison Kleibold shot a film at the school where they did what they later supposedly did. Uh, the, the government connections, the principal and the police chief having lunch that day while it went on and standing down. Again, half the kid's not there. The point is, this is going to be used to go after the Second Amendment. What if somebody would have had a gun in there to respond to him? This is going, I mean, we hire cops to guard movie theaters so this doesn't happen. How about we just have guns? This is a culture degenerating and collapsing. The mass murder in Chicago, all of it, is this gangster culture. We've got to watch this closely. Guaranteed it's going to be blamed on the Second Amendment. Guaranteed they're going to try to blame it on anti-authoritarian characters like Bain, who's the villain but is anti-establishment. That was the main message from the leaked scripts uh, that were at IMDb and others breaking down what the Dark Knight covered. And that's what we broke down in our spoiler video and said this is to invoke revolution and ideas of terrorism. And you're now seeing it. And again, what do the movie posters say? Rise! Rise and Bane blows up the aircraft he's in, and you know tells the guy he has to die at the beginning in the prologue, um, you know because they have to think it's Bane that's dead, and the cult member you know says the revolution goes up, you know is happening. He says it's fire, the fire goes up, 
I mean, that's what this is all about. And this is globalist programming in your face. Let me just show you a few articles here real fast, ladies and gentlemen. The Drudge Report has it all today. And it's got the articles about society seduced by sadism, breaking that down, the fact that it was just miles from Columbine, uh, the f fact that uh, all of this um, is going to be used, in fact, here's our article, to be exploited for political grist in the mill. Uh, that is from Infowars.com. It's all right there, and everybody needs to understand that this is going to be used against the Second Amendment. Uh, final thoughts on this. We had uh, the Sergeant Bales shoot all those people reportedly in Afghanistan, and we knew that he, it was his fourth tour. He'd been on psychotropic drugs. Almost in every case, from Columbine on to modern, uh, more recent events, they're always on a serotonin reuptake inhibitor, Prozac-type drug. Almost every case. And that needs to be looked at here. He could have just been a run-of-the-mill fruitcake living in fantasy land and thought he was Bane. A lot of it points towards that. But, again, the fact that it's in Columbine, right down the street, uh, the fact that the treaty's coming up next week, I mean, come on. Even Rush Limbaugh years ago said, what is it that every time they've got one or two votes they need to pass gun restrictions, magically a mass shooting happens, and then the media is all ready to jump on it? I mean, this just stinks of mind control. Uh, all right, that's it. I'll be covering it more today on the radio. Charlie Daniels is on. I'm going to cancel some of the other guests so that we can just fully focus on this. And the streams are at InfoWars.com or Channel 166 on XM or local AM and FMs in your area. Again, I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. Don't let them take our Second Amendment via UN control because of this massacre. This is why we need our guns to protect ourselves from crazies like the man that reportedly did this. But we'll probably never learn the truth, ladies and gentlemen. The system sure likes the police in that area. Very interesting. This happened where the military industrial complex is based and where everything's under control. All right. We'll see you on the radio.